Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. We are starting on my family's newly redone front porch. How adorable is all of this? I know that in the last vlog we went to TJ Maxx and Target, although I didn't end up vlogging. That's what happened. I left my memory card in my computer like a genius and like I pulled out my camera to vlog and I didn't I didn't have any way to vlog. So that was smart on my part, but today memory card is obviously in here and we are about to head out to home goods we might go to other stores i don't really know just yet but i thought that i would start off this vlog sitting in this adorable little rocking chair with a cute little pillow behind me and all this cute stuff right here how just it's fall i'm sitting outside it's like 70 degrees it's just it's so nice it's so not hot i'm thriving <laughs> were you waiting for me to finish talking to myself yes cool so my mom is here off we go I'm currently procrastinating uploading my keto diet video by the time this vlog goes up. You guys will have seen that one. I'm just, I'm not ready for the like diet experts to have their opinions on things. And I'm just, it'll be up by the time you guys see this, it'll be up, but I'm procrastinating. So no upload on this Thursday. Sorry guys, but let's go to the store. Look at all the fall and all the pumpkins. Oh my God, where do I start? Is my brother as a pumpkin decor. It just looks so sarcastic saying, Thanks, and it's broken like literally Nick. <laughs> Every phone in this store is currently getting this amber alert. It's kind of terrifying sounding. It's so like funny lumpy, but it's sparkly and it kind of matches my aesthetic. Can't really see the color in the video. Yeah, it's, it's coming off like whiter. It's a very, it's very, pizza. there's nothing else around here that color, but it's pretty, but also very funny looking. What is this face? <laughs> He's chilling. He looks pretty cool. Why is New Jersey here? We're in New York. This is not home. A pumpkin pie recipe here. It's actually kind of hard to read, but it's still very cute. Can I sit on them though? I love it. <laughs> kind of wanting to get like a map style thing of New York. I don't know if I like that this one is like hand foiled, which is still kind of cool, but just doesn't really suit my vibe. Maybe in Sergio's room. I don't know if he'd like it. Okay, wait, I just found like the biggest dream catcher ever. I don't know if I like it enough and it's not even that expensive. Do any of my followers have that phobia of lots of bunches of holes? If so, I'm sorry, but I don't even have that and this is making me uncomfortable. Ugh. But this, this is cute. I'm sorry with these. <laughs> and this guy knows how to party. <laughs> I think I like this one more than the shiny one, but I still don't think I'm fully in love. I just like, for some reason, I'm drawn to funny llama decor. I don't want it in my home, but like, come on, how funny is this? God, this dog food and water bowl holder is so <laughs> creepy. So, mildly disappointed in home goods. Kind of disappointed in how freaking bright it is right now. I can't see anything, but. I didn't see anything that I liked. Normally I love home goods, especially since this is like a New York one, so there's like New York themed things instead of North Carolina themed things. But yeah, not not too impressed. I love how even when I am visiting back home in New York, I still get packages delivered to me. This box right here is super exciting. As I move all the packaging away. I had sent a DM to Fanola. I was just letting them know that I was going to be in New York for like two or three weeks and I was out of my shampoo and conditioner and they were like, don't you worry girl, we got you covered. And I'm so thankful. And also I didn't have to pack any heavy shampoo and conditioner bottles or fill up little travel sizes because all of this was waiting for me when I got here. I just hadn't opened up the box yet because I didn't need to wash my hair yet. But now that I finally opened it all, I'm so excited. They actually let me know that their no yellow shampoo and conditioner is now a vegan formula. So if any of you guys are vegan and you care if your hair products are also vegan and you're blonde, these are amazing. They smell like grape candy and it's just delicious. But honestly, these three right here, are the most delicious smelling things on the face of the planet. Every time I wash my hair with these, Sergio will like follow me towards the bathroom, like what is that delicious smell? And will be like sniffing my hair after I get out of the shower because it just smells so good. It's this super sweet, like milky scent. It's just so good. You guys need to get these and just 
smell your hair. You will thank me for it. So they sent me their restructuring mask, the restructuring shampoo, restructuring conditioner, the restructuring spray with 10 actions, the new vegan no yellow mask and no yellow shampoo, and finally their restructuring fluid crystals. These are all amazing. I use these all the time. Since recording this clip, guys, I did get a coupon code for you. If you use Julie Jigsaw or click the link down in the description box down below, you can get 10% off of all Finola aftercare products. I 100% recommend that you guys check them out. I Seriously, this is like the only thing that I use on my hair now, and I just, I'm so happy that I have a coupon code for you. Yay, I hope you guys use it and love this stuff as much as I do. Yay! So as you guys know, I do live in North Carolina now and we were hit by Hurricane Florence and most of North Carolina was like, just everything stopped functioning because of Hurricane Florence. So I thought that my werewolf package had gotten lost completely in the mail, but it literally showed up like six hours after I got on a plane to leave North Carolina. So I asked Sergio to like send me over just a couple of pairs of the leggings and the new white tank top so I can, you know, wear these to work out in, take some cute pics. I'm super late on the train for the new sensation colors, but I'm so excited that I finally have them. This color is so stunning. I think it's like a dusty rose color. It's just, it's perfect. And these are like a slate gray. I'm so excited that they showed up and I can't wait to wear them and take pics in them and look super cute at the gym in them. And if you guys are interested in checking out werewolf stuff for yourself, I know that they have other colors of these coming out like this weekend, I'm pretty sure. And there's gonna be like bras and there's also a whole bunch of shorts versions of these waiting for me back at home as well, as well as a like mint green pair of leggings. I just asked him just to send me these few, but there is a mint green pair as well as shorts versions of all of these. And if you guys are interested in getting yourself some werewolf stuff, you can use this coupon code right here at their website and you'll get 10% off of your order. Happy Friday. I am currently heading over to a new nail salon because I feel like I haven't been happy with the nail salon that I go to here for the past few times that I've gone to it. And this one's a little bit closer to my house and I decided to walk there, get a little bit of cardio in. Hopefully I like the nail salon. I'll show you guys my nails after I'm done there and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then walk all the way home. And then I have a lot of pictures to take for werewolf. The weather today reminds me of Montauk. I know that for most people who live in New York, Montauk is like party beach island land. You go there in the summer, you get wasted on the beach. It's sunshine and good times. To me, Montauk is this weird, gloomy gray sky weather. Almost raining, kind of like mist in the air, like in the 60s. So romantic to me. That's what it feels like to me. Literally like my favorite kind of weather, just it's a little bit cold out, I need a sweater. I could be wearing like a t-shirt, but I love it so much. I'm like so happy this whole walk. I've just been like looking around and I feel inspired when it looks like this, which is why I wanna to move to Washington State. Isn't it always kinda of like this there? I don't know, but I'll see you guys after I get my nails done. Guys, what the heck? My nails are perfect. Like, I'm just, I'm obsessed. <laughs> How are these so nice? Like. I was not expecting such nice marble nails. They look so good. And on this hand, I just got two. Oh my God. I went in thinking like maybe they won't even know how to do marble nails. And then she did such a good job. She even offered to add the like little bit of sparkling rose gold. She thought it would look cute. And they only charge $2 extra per design nail. The salon that I used to go to would charge $5 extra if you even put like one gemstone on your nails. I'm gonna be staring at my hands for the next like week or two. Hopefully they don't come off. But oh my God, I am freaking obsessed. What the heck? Long time no see guys. I have been just taking pictures for the past like two, three hours. The sun is just about setting. The sky finally cleared up and it's got like pink clouds. It's really beautiful outside. And I think I have like one more photo that I wanna take before it gets completely dark out. But I was just on my Insta stories. Like I literally just posted this so I don't know even what you guys are voting yet, but I want to make a whole post dedicated to my pretty little nails. Like I took some really nice photos of like my hands and it, I was scrolling through my Instagram, I think it was yesterday, and I was just looking and I feel like I used to be so much more creative with my Instagram posts and lately I feel like I've just been churning out content just for the sake of creating content. and. It's like kind of sad. I've just not been so artistically inspired lately, which sucks, it happens. Like people get into slumps all the time, but 
I don't know. I was just having a moment of like, I don't know. Like, if I don't post exactly what my Instagram followers are expecting to see, the post doesn't do well. And even if it is something that you guys are expecting to see, for the past week, Instagram has been just muffling my posts and like no one sees them. I'm gonna try to put you guys down for a second. Can I put you down there? Is this gonna, this is gonna end terribly. This is gonna fall. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And it's like super discouraging because even when I am creating the content that I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna like, Instagram has been muffling my posts and like drowning them amongst everything else with the algorithm. It's super discouraging because this photo right here that I posted, I really liked it. I thought it was cool. I loved the graffiti. I thought I looked good. I thought the photo was like aesthetically pleasing. And literally that photo bombed like I got good comment engagement on it because I'm pretty sure that that was the one where I was like, hey guys, talk with me because I feel like my posts are drowning. And I got really good comments on it, but it still didn't reach even a fraction of my followers. And on top of that, it barely reached anyone who doesn't follow me. Usually my posts at minimum will be seen by about 7% people who don't follow me and like a good post will have like 40% people who didn't follow me and like I'll get new followers from that and that's how you grow on social media and I just I'm just in this weird so I might just do a nail post because honestly about two or three years ago I used to post photos of my nails all the time because I did nail art myself or I would go get them done I just I haven't had a design done on my nails in like over a year and I like it and I like how they make me feel and I want to share that on my Instagram. And I'm almost tired of just posting straight pictures of my face. I don't know when this happened. I used to alternate between a photo of myself and a photo of like something else or me holding something or like a different angle that didn't involve my face. And lately, if a photo doesn't have my face in it, I feel like it's not worthy of my Instagram. It has to go on my stories. And it's so bizarre, like, I don't know when that happened or how that happened, but it happened, and I don't know. I need to, I need to rethink my Instagram a little bit. Just, I feel like I've gotten into this weird groove, and it's just, I don't know, ramblings. It's also getting darker and darker by the second. It doesn't look like it on the little camera, like on my little screen right now. I'm like looking like I still look super bright on here, but it's getting dark out, so I'm gonna take a couple more pictures. And, uh, yeah. And never mind, I'm gonna have to come back out here tomorrow because, like, for photos, any photos that I take right now without some sort of external flash or other source of light, like, it's super grainy and super dark and just, oh well. I got a whole bunch of good stuff today anyway, so we're good. So I guess I can just sit down and chat a little bit longer. I have been chewed up by mosquitoes in the time that I've been taking photos. Like I used to go out and take artistic self-portraits or all the time. Like the way that I got into photography was through just taking self-portraits because I didn't have like models at my disposal and I've always been into self-portraiture, not just like, oh my god, I'm so pretty, I need to take a selfie, but like self-portraiture, artistic things and I haven't done that in so long even today like I just took a couple pictures that maybe almost kind of felt like that feeling that I would get when I would create art with like myself as the model and I do have my photography Instagram account where like I do post artistic things but lately I've just been taking like beautiful portraits and family photo sessions and things like that of others and I haven't really been creating art and I feel like I've gotten into this weird routine where I have forgotten that I like to make art. And I almost, like, I don't want to blame YouTube, I don't want to blame social media, but it's almost like before I was doing social media so intensely, like, I always would have my camera on me anyway because I would be creating art. And now I have my camera on me and I want to talk to the vlog camera and I want to take, like, portraits of myself for my Instagram in a certain way that I take my Instagram photos and, like, why is this out of focus? Like, I'm the only thing that's here to focus on. Thank you. No. Made it worse. Do you see me now? Come on, camera. Like, I would see something, it would spark that little moment in me. And I think this all kind of stemmed from my morning walk today where it reminded me of Montauk because I just remember how artistic and creative and inspired I felt when I was there and like that spooky gloomy 
vibe this morning. And there were like puddles on the ground from when it had rained earlier on in the day and like the reflections in them and just leaves scattered amongst them. Fall is always more inspiring to me because I love taking photos outside, but lately it's just been so hot in North Carolina that like I step outside and I start dripping sweat and I don't want to create and I'd rather just go back inside and take a mirror selfie. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with taking a mirror selfie. I love taking mirror selfies, but I guess maybe it's the cooler weather too, just inspiring me, seeing the leaves changing colors, seeing some gloomy weather that's not like torrential downpour. All of these things just kind of sparked something in me and I feel, I feel good. Also, I've realized that today is the day that all of the planes are gonna fly over the house here. So yeah, just felt like sharing that and putting that out there. So maybe one day I'll come back and look at this when I'm not in an artistic slump and I'll be like, oh, look at you. You got out of your slump. Cause I mean, I feel like I've almost been in artistic slump since I graduated from art school three years ago now. Oh my God. 2016, 2017, two oh my God, I graduated three years ago which in the grand scheme of things is not that long, but it has been three years. I feel I've had ups and downs. I'm like, I've had ups and downs. I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. The battery is flashing that it's dying. I've given you guys a little bit of a ramble rant on artistic slumps and how much it sucks to feel like you're not being creative. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me in the comment section down below. If you guys are creative and you've ever been in a creative slump, what are ways that you've like gotten yourself out of the slump? My way is just to go out there, take the camera, do the thing. I think it kind of got sparked by doing the video job that I had last weekend. It reminded me of like creating art with the video form instead of just creating like a vlog or a sit down video, like creating something, just it reminded me and it sparked it in me. Or like going on like a nature walk when it's cold outside and gloomy and the weather's changing, leaves are falling, that also inspires me. So what inspires you guys to get out of creative slumps? Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you guys aren't following me across all of my social media platforms, I always have links to them all in the description box down below. Make sure that you're following me on both of my Instagrams. There's my fitness, fashion, and like Milso Instagram and my photography Instagram. And let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see more of my like art on the photography Instagram. That'd be cool to know if you guys are interested in that. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.